Time for the internet, actually, right now. YouTube is being, I'm sure, just bombarded with every streamer in the world. So if we have certain times during which this stream goes down, I'll try and get it back up as quick as possible. I'm going to just plug, it, plug ahead because worst case scenario, I can uh, upload this later as a video file. My name is Tom Britton. I do, uh, well, when the world's back, I'll be doing three shows. Uh, I do Freak Show and Tell. That's that guy. I'm reversed. I'd be a terrible weatherman. Um, that's my main show. That's been my main bread and butter for years, since 2006. Uh, a variety. It, it, it's essentially a carrot top, but with science experiments. It's it's a prop comedy show with science and history. And uh, there you go. That's my that's my oeuvre. Two others I do. One is the Danger Circus. So that's a proper variety show. So that's me paired up with uh, various friends, circus performers, etc. And then one I do with a magician named Jonathan uh, Pritchard. It's called the Seance, and that's where we mix my. Um, it's history meets mystery. So I do a 30 minute TED talk. Then he does uh, a recreation of a Victorian era seance. Some of it exposes some of it. He's a magician. He keeps the secrets. I'm going to move my lower third out of the way here. Uh, give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm driving my own. There we go. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm switching my own bits here. And so there'll be a lot of looking off. That's where my monitor is. So once I'm talking about your website, you'll see me gazing off to my left. What am I looking for in a, in a website? The purpose of this. So let me start from the beginning. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate your, your time and I'll try and make good use of your time. I won't try and waste your time or mine. They're both valuable to me. Um, what I have accidentally discovered I have a knack for is marketing. I had no idea. I just tried like everyone else to get tickets sold, to get butts in seats. And over the years, I had a little more success with it than average. And so people would ask me, you know, how are you doing this? What are you doing? I'm, I have the same budget you have, meaning no budget. And you seem to be doing better at this than I am. Can you help me? And so over the years, I've just started doing that. William Rader from Well Attended, who will not be here today. He had a scheduling conflict. He texted me this morning. So if, if you're a big William Rader fan, you'll have to check back later. And... uh William Rader and I paired up because he has the same experience. Friends of his who are more artsy-fartsy, less business-minded. And don't think I'm disparaging you when I call you artsy-fartsy and business-minded. I believe the vast majority of artists should be flaky weirdos. It makes for the best art. There are a few like me who either come from a business, business background. I was a restaurateur. I ran restaurants. I was a restaurant manager. Later became a chef. But I mean like fast food manager initially. Owned restaurants, etc. So I brought those lessons with me into my artsy-fartsy. As a result, some of my friends had genuine questions about how I'm doing this. So what we're trying to do today is uh, a kind of one-on-one. -on -one. William and I did a podcast, and at the end, people started putting their links in the web, uh, to their websites, and we started going through them. And I thought, well, this may be a service people may like. It may, it may prove popular. What I want everyone to do is learn from each other. So let me first go through an overview of what I'm looking for, because if you disagree with me 20 minutes from now, when I'm going through someone's website and I'm going to be kind, I'm not going to tear you a new a-hole. If I hate your website, I will say it nicely. There's no reason to be a dick about it. You didn't mean to make a bad website. And I'll keep that in mind. And I'll try and sandwich it with, I like this. Maybe this could be better. And I'll, I'll try and keep that kind of tone. Maybe you could improve this. Maybe work on that. I don't want you to leave here excoriated and, and you're supposed to go improve now because you feel like an, a dick because you did it wrong. No, I want you to have some ideas. But those of you more advanced may disagree with me. So if I explain what I'm looking for, I think then later on when you go, I don't think he, I, I don't, I like that. You'll understand why we disagree. I think that's important because a lot of this is not fact. A lot of this is like you look at my, my poster crap. How do I do this right there? You may think I hate that poster. That's fine. It, a lot of it is opinion. Now, I would argue the efficacy, that poster is the one I settled on, not because I love its design either, but because it put the most butts in the most seats. So it ain't art, it's commerce. But that disagreement, let's get into it. Again, I'm switching, so you're going to see a lot of this. If the glasses are on, you know I'm super serious. Um, hang on, that is not what I meant to do. But there's also going to be a lot of that. There's going to be a lot of, uh, oops, wrong button. I got it. Okay. 
slowly figuring it out. There we are. So this is my show, obviously called The Seance. This is a Squarespace website. Um, Wix, I've also heard people have good luck with. I prefer Squarespace only because they seem to have more modules, but that could happen. They leapfrog back and forth. What I'm looking for out of a website is a singular purpose. I do not like multi-purpose websites, and there's right away something you may disagree with me about. So this website, now I only have one purpose. This, this website is for you to buy a ticket. So you've seen an ad somewhere. And you thought I might want to go to that show. That looks interesting. Is it a haunted house? It isn't, but it's my job now to tell you that, to explain what it is. Because if you come to the show and you hate the show, I see that, well, Jonathan and I are happy with the show. We're artists. So sorry, we're not changing the show. We're happy with it. Artists come first in my world. I'm not doing commerce. I'm doing art. But I see it as a communications error on my part. So if you came to my show and didn't like it, that's because I didn't explain what you were in for well enough and you left butt hurt instead of never having bought a ticket. Go see if you want a big, dumb, loud guy to chase you with a chainsaw. That's a hayride, haunted hayride. They're a little more expensive, but they're around. So we start with an eye-catching image, and I've made sure... Can I use my... Yeah, okay, my mouse. Here, you can barely see the image fall off black on black if you, if you have a high-definition screen, right? There's where that image ends, and then again over here. That's so this will work fairly well on a smartphone. A lot of times you're buying your tickets on a smartphone, although my audience skews older. My demographic is 50 years old, white and female. They tend to buy through Facebook and they tend to buy on their desktop computer. So I can, I can allow for that. I'm looking for a singular narrative. So now as you scroll down, I want my website to tell you a story. And forgive me as I use my own website. I just know it. I'm not trying to sell you guys tickets to the show. I'm fine. Um, as I scroll down, now you're going to see some some loading problems. This doesn't happen when I'm not streaming live. This is because my I've got a MacBook Pro. It's very new. It's very nice. I love it. It was very expensive. It's great. It's a wonderful toy. But even now, it's having difficulty keeping up. This is my video commercial, and we'll get to like videos and stuff. But basically, you can watch this. It, it, it's a, a, a iMovies format that I just type some text in that is essentially repeated below. So this is probably what you've already seen on YouTube or on Facebook or on the ad that brought you here. Now I'm explaining, and this is the three things I need you to know. The other thing I'm looking for on your website is how concise it is. And that's something you'll see me working on constantly. You come back in a few months, you may see these less and less words. The more Hemingway you can be, the better your website's going to be. The more narrow your marketing message can be. Now, for some of us, this is kind of an interesting show. It's kind of an unusual show to explain to people. And I'm battling against the idea that since I do it at Halloween time, and it's called the seance, the imagery is very shocking. You think it's going to be a little dumber than it actually is. So I need a few more words. But is it for children? Oh, no. And I just added that. So I'm working on this and explaining why, you know, giving you the idea that like, hey, man, this ain't for kids. And it's not that I'm going to yell F in this and F in that. But our volunteers might. Like when Jonathan really freaks someone out, and he really, I mean, mentalism in general, if it's done well, can really scare someone. They may yell, holy shit, what the fuck? There they go, off the races, screaming and cursing on stage. Sorry, man, it's it's an amateur. We got her on stage and we freaked her out. That's going to happen. So I don't want to hear any of this about your nine-year-old in the front row. And then I say there's going to be drinking. We're going to be talking about actual death. We may make jokes, but these are actual people. You could Google them and go, holy crap, mom, he was talking about a real person during the plague. So I say it's really 18 and up. And then some venues, it's drinking. You can't come in the room if you're under 21 because we're at a place where they don't allow that. A couple of quotes. Uh, that now, okay, so now I've got my concise pitch that I'll be looking for on your website. And now start selling with what you have. If you're, obviously, if you're corporate, this would be where a giant IBM logo would be. And over here is Coca-Cola or whatever you're trying to say. Put a couple of little cool gifts in here, Jonathan and I. Economy of words, economy of photos. I don't need 75 photos of your hands or your mind reading or your hypnotist, right? I don't need the juggler holding the torch or, or comedian holding the microphone. Not on your website. You may put that elsewhere for your clients and you'll see on Freak Show and Tell if we get to that. But if you ever go to my other website, you'll see a lot of repetitive photos if you drill down into the website of me eating fire. That's so that if you book me at your theater, you get to pick the one you put on your website. But I've only, these two, that's enough. You get it. And now here's my version of we booked him for Honda Corporation and he was great. Here's my just, these are Yelp, Groupon, TripAdvisor. 
and then bragging about the fact that you might want to get tickets. I'm trying to kind of subtly imply, and this I'm still working on. This is a work in progress for me, I'm trying to figure out to message this. When I first put this on the website, people thought, is it is it already sold out? Like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying it. you should get tickets because it might sell out. We do pretty well and we book small theaters, man. So I had real trouble. I screwed up big time. People thought it was already sold out in Milwaukee. And I was like, no, 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 no. Last year, last year, plenty of tickets right now. Now we get into the meat. So this whole thing leads to an ask. If you do not have a call to action, buy tickets. This is why they're here. And that link was at the very top. If you notice, they could just click right to it. Buy tickets. And then it clicks off. And I'm still working on this too, to find a way to really do this, to communicate this with only three it's five dates, but three are in one spot, so it's easy. When we get the full tour up and running, it's a lot of buttons, and it's a mess. Now we get into some, if you're beyond the buy tickets page, how did I fail? So here's some other stuff that might help you. Here's a TV appearance. Notice how I've made the thumbnail black and white. I'll also be looking for consistency on your website. And then here are a few photos. So I dropped these in mostly for clients to find down here and repurpose for Instagram, etc., but not a ton. These are the stickers that I designed. There's that one of Jonathan and I in non-GIF format, the poster. And then a cool little, these last two are just to balance out a block of nine. These last two I could cut from this grid, but seven looked wonky, so I threw two more in. And now we're just, now the rest of this website is just kind of trailing off. Mailing list, etc. A contact ask page. For me, most people who come to this website are not looking to book me. They're going through my agent's website. If they're looking to book me at a theater or for their college, they don't come here. If they do come here, I send them to right here. And this goes off to resources you can use. So that's it. It's a single page all the way down. Yours does not have to be like that, but you'll see kind of now you've got my opinion on what I think uh, websites should be doing at their best of times. Right. Hang on one second. Let me. I did this wrong. Of course, I did this wrong. Just click that. Um. Someone asked real quick some questions and we're going to dive into yours. So that's so now you see my opinion. That's what a website should look like. I'm very much copying the Apple business model. Uh, a lot of tech products will use this kind of thing. We've we got a new fitness watch and you scroll down and there's things roll in and out. And there's a parallax scrolling where like something scrolls slower behind as you scroll faster in front. Parallax scrolling is what that's called. Sorry, one second. That's not the uh, the 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 co the COVID nineteen there. That's uh, that's just my whiskey voice. It's just kind of scratchy. Uh, so you see my style. So I don't expect you to have the same style, and I'll try and be kind about that. And we're gonna start with the first one that I saw, which is a link in what entertainment, and then you guys get the same experience I get because I really like this initial bam. So I don't know what you do, but you're a badass. Uh, that's a very good image. It's striking. The only critique I could make is, have you looked at it on a cell phone? Does this work well on a cell phone? Because on my iPad, man, on my desktop, it looks amazing. But I got a 27-inch monitor here to my to my left. Um, it pixelates a little bit on the 27-inch monitor, but not enough to... It don't bother me. It looks a little fuzzy, but it's blown up. It's blown out a bit. Uh, that's literally... I'm nitpicking on this image. It looks great. Oh, good. Congratulations. You did the graphics yourself. You... Uh, Normally, that's a very bad idea. <laughs> you got away with it. Um, yeah, uh, double check and make sure it's working on whatever the modern cell phone is. Keep that in mind. But it looks like you know graphic design, so you probably already thought of that. Yeah, do it for a living. I, I can tell you at least did it as a very serious hobby. Uh, right at the top here, boom, book him for your event. I love this. This is if I've already decided. So I met you at the, I saw you at a trade show. Right there, I saw you at a trade show and I said, hey, you're great. I want you at the next trade show next year. Went to your website. I have no questions. I saw what you did. I don't care if you've got photos or testimonials. I watched you in action. I'm ready to book. Give me that option. Please don't make me scroll through all your nonsense. That said, let's scroll through your nonsense. Uh, you've got video gallery, testimony, and client list. So right here at the top, see what, is it Lincoln? What do I call you? <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. World entertainment has given you all the things you basically need right there. So if you've already been sold and you see this image, you go, yeah, that's the dude. That's the guy with the glasses and the beard. That's the guy I was telling you about. Okay. Lincoln. Good. Lincoln. Um, that's Lincoln. I met that guy. He was so badass. He was at the IBM booth and our company needs him this year. That's the dude video. If I'm trying to sell my team on you, watch this video, book him. And you have a very similar style 
to me in that you're, you're you've got a scrolling sort of thing. Uh, I've discovered that when I try and do the hovering, I notice you haven't done this either. You can make this stuff come with you, but on a phone, it didn't work so well. Check back in the future because I'm going to do it too. There, There's a way it'll stay up the top with the header, but I gave up on it too with the phone. Just every year or so, click that, that uh, you could turn the little slider, turn it on, check on your phone, then turn it back off. Um, because it is nice to have, if they're trying to sell their team, to have that book button hovering in the world. Um. Yeah, you, the same struggle I get. Can you say this in five words? Can you say it in one word? Can you say it with an image? And that's just that's just a constant struggle you're gonna have. Is it's you know, uh, completely new illusions is like uh, the most unique. Um, and so you start trying chopping that down. Are you marketing? If you're marketing, completely new illusions. While it is redundant, does sound great. Um. If you read it, so that's the constant uh, argument you're going to have with yourself. Do I need, oh, I could have found out your name right there. Uh, if I just scrolled two inches, I could have found out your name. Um, and maybe, maybe this is all you need. Maybe this is all you need. Maybe, maybe just, that's all you need. You're Mr. Worldwide, you you and DJ Colin. Uh, maybe the video is sufficient. Maybe that's a GIF. It's just something to keep in mind as you're designing, because you've got a very good site going on here. So I'm going to use you more as an example. Forgive me, Lincoln. I don't know how much help I can really be for you. You're at or above my level on this kind of stuff. What I can give you is a a, a naked eye. So let me go through here, and you can see what Lincoln's doing well. Right here. Boom. He's excited to share the impossible with you. That might be stronger if it were a quote. If, if if these photos were you and this were the CEO, say she's the CEO of, of the Singer Corporation and there's her quote, you may be able to make that a little stronger. And then your Instagram page, that's fine. Arguably, it's it's uh, silly, but silly is okay. We're also branding ourselves. So yeah, this is the same thing with mine. It kind of trails off. Once you get here, if I haven't sold you, then I've kind of failed and I'm hoping you'll scroll back up and book me. So it can kind of trail off to some photos. And then, uh, yeah, email list. Okay, so so I'm, I'm picking nits here. This could be a more powerful something to look at. This could possibly be shorter or an image or, you know, that constant struggle to always make it shorter, shorter, shorter. Um, here's what I can do, and, and the people in chat can as well. Um, dear, you're a corporate performer who does trade shows. That's, that's what I got at a glance. Now, I didn't watch your video, so maybe it's different if I watch your video. And that's, I'm only not doing that right now uh, be, because of bandwidth problems because everyone in the world's online. Uh, normally, if I were going to book you, of course, I'd watch your video. Um, if I go to click you, um, the, the forms, I don't, uh, you guys sound off. I hate these. I effing hate these things. Are they that useful to you? Do you need this much data to talk to me? I mean, really, do you even need my name? Why don't I just call you, man? Why don't I just click, e why can't I just click your face and email you? Just click, you know, um, so I, I would just sort of uh, play devil's advocate and go, is this necessary? And if you go, yeah, yeah, it is. OK, fine, dude. I believe you. You seem to know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> you have a very professionally, very slickly made, uh, slickly made, a very slick and professionally made Web page. Um, I, guess, I guess if you need all this data to give a quote, but I also don't give quotes in text. I give quotes on phones. I want to hear your voice better yet, see your face. I like to do business face to face so I can see you flinch. I can see you, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So yeah, people aren't filling out the whole form. So I guess if not every line is, is necessary. I mean, just, just have that argument with yourself at night. Just, you know, have a puppet playing me. You should take it all off. No, Tom, that's wrong. I need that. I need to know, expect the number of guests. Um, again, always looking for that, that cutting it down to here's my phone number. Click this link to email me. Always type your email underneath in case I don't want the default app to open the email. Type it underneath so I can copy and paste it. That's a weird one people don't think of. Uh, beyond that, it's, I mean, yeah, absolutely fantastic. This goes to other parts of the, yeah. Um, I did initially notice to scroll down. This is a good place for another quote, by the way, right here. You know, your your best testimonial can go there. And then down here, um, video gallery is a video gallery. Yeah, yeah, this is this is this is absolutely, absolutely uh, wonderful. Let me see. I'm going to go to Magic Sounds. Forgive me as I type off mic. Magic Sounds Pro. This is also a good, a good, um, 
It's a good thing I'm not a big fan of pornography because as you start, start to type things here, you can see really disgusting things pop up under here with some folks. Um, okay, what did I type wrong? Magic sound, singular sound, got it. Don't panic about that. Most people will not be typing it in. They'll be clicking a link, and there you are. Same thing, make sure it works on a phone because this image uh, appears to be a little wide. And so if it doesn't work on a phone, you can make an argument that yours doesn't need to work on a phone if you are a cruise ship entertainer or you uh, work uh, nursing homes. There are some people who just don't use their phones. So a demographic would be, you know, hey, no one is, and you can check that in the analytics, mobile versus desktop. Um, and then, okay, so Peter is saying uh, it stacks on a phone. Make sure it stacks elegantly. Make sure you like how it stacks on a phone. So I'm using the desktop model, so I guess I'll give you the uh, the 60-year-old uh, agent who's looking to book you. This is how they would look at your website. And then also ask yourself the question, um, what brought them to my web page? Was it SEO and a Google ad, in which case your page needs to do all the heavy lifting? Or in my case, you've seen a Facebook ad. I do Instagram ads too, but the overwhelming majority of tickets are bought on my shows through Facebook. I think it's because I'm a theater show. Forget vaudeville variety. I'm right there with late night catechism. I'm right there in the same uh, uh, theater as Annie. Like that's my audience. So like the young hip kids aren't coming. The same people who come to theater come to see my show. So it's Facebook for that reason. They're coming from Facebook where they've already been primed with something. Either a friend saw the show and tagged them. They saw the event page and in my events. I put data as well. So they kind of already have a vague idea of what the show is, and now I need to finish the sale. So uh, uh, Peter, right? Yeah, Peter. Um, that's a question you ask before they come in for targeting. So like with our last website, I've either gotten a brochure from you, I've talked to an agent, or I've heard about you in the trade show market, in the corporate market, and now I'm checking you out. I'm primed. Um, it looks like you're sort of a one-person event company. You do some DJ, you do some magic. I bet if I called you, you found, you probably know someone who could help me get a cake for a wedding. Um, not that you do that, but that that's, that's, you seem to be in the event space. So I would say if I'm having a prom, I give you a call. If I'm having any kind of party, you seem like you'd be uh, useful. I like this one of you at a wedding doing a, doing a, a guillotine with hands. Sorry, forgive me. I don't know a ton about magic. Um, despite working with three amazing magicians in my career, they were a separate part of the show. Um, and then like a little mind reading photo. The um, the picture of the wedding is really good. The picture of you DJing can be better. Um, if you are making money at DJing, get wrist chopper. Thank you. Um, it looks fun. They look very, they look very fooled. This guy has been fooled as hell right now. Look at his face. It's just before he really enjoys it where he goes, uh, what, what, wait. Huh? Which is a great reaction, and you are eating it up. This is fine because it's candid. See if you could stage this. See if you could get someone to come take your photo because these shadows back here make it look kind of cheap. Um, and it, everything else about it, look, this is great. So may, this only looks ghetto because it's next to this incredible shot, well placed. And then this is forgivable with all the. Clearly, someone just grabbed this on their phone or on the, the, the wedding photographer snapped in the moment. You can't stage that, but this you could stage. This is just hover hands over a over a turntable. Get a reshoot on that one, and see and and Google some DJs and see what they're doing that's cool. And then um, yeah, okay. So karaoke services, you're gonna like the place. So basically, if I have an event, you're almost the first call I should make. Okay, I do love this. Boom, end of website. Love that single page. So so certainly points for. Now, I would say with this GIF, since you have the space, see, it's cut off down here for me. Now, I'm on Safari, if this matters, if you need to know. Latest operating system, latest version of Safari. Um, and you see it's cut off down at the bottom. These can be broken out into like three separate posters here or three. You've got the space, man. You, you've been very economical. Also, your smoke cuts off at the bottom. Put a line or a border there, and it'll look like it was, it was coming up from a piece of paper or coming up from a whatever, you know. Come on. Also, this photo. Whoever did, whoever did these two photos, have them do this one because these are friggin' killer. Also, you have a great look for this. Um, yeah, you look like a mind-reading mofo. Uh, and then in this photo, you look like a fun dude. So so the, the image you're getting 
is that. It's coming across. Reshoot this. Rethink this. Fix the tech on the fact that if this is important data, I can't see it. This looks great. Again, another killer photo. Call this person. <laughs> Get this person again. Pay them. Say, I, need, I just need one. I just need one more. It's me with my turntables. I just need one more. Um, mailing list. Yeah, magic in your inbox. That's, yeah, fantastic. Uh, contact me. Again, you've, you've been so economical. I would say you could be a little bigger here. I think that Lincoln and I have the opposite problem. We're trying to tell a little bigger narrative. You've really laser focused in here, my friend. This contact me could be, you know, a proper line here. And then these images about what you offer. How about both could be a single line right across the top or phone width here. And then break these out and put them there. And you've got space to play with. Yeah, I, I would I would just uh Yeah, this can be a separate and, and your email can be there. It can say like, you know, Peter at uh, uh what are we at? Uh magic com can be underneath it and it can be sort of separated off so I can find it very easily. And since you have the free space, you can you can use the free space. But overall, I mean this is two back to back that are, you know, worst case scenario, I'm giving you guys an A minus here. I mean it, it's really you're really, really killing it. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to go in order to make it. All right, so Kingston. Let me see if I can copy and paste from the chat. I cannot. So here we go. Kingston. If I skip you, just type it again in the bottom. I promise. I'll, I'll do this nonsense as long as it takes. I think at a certain point also, we'll have seen all the mistakes everyone else can make. And you'll start to get an idea of my taste. Now, the other thing you want to do, incidentally, is get a second opinion. You know, when I go through... And if you don't, sometimes you see it. Like when I pointed out that DJ photo, you might've gone, yeah, he's right. I never saw that. People do that to my website. They'll go, why is this blue and this is red? And I'll go, oh yeah, why is that blue? Oh, in hindsight, I'm an idiot. That's why. So sometimes it becomes obvious to you once a fresh set of eyes points it out. But if you think, I don't know, man, I like my contact page. I like my form letter. Ask another person who does marketing. You know, ask William Rader. See, you know, next time he's online, say, hey dude, we look at my website. Tom didn't like the form, but... Tom sells tickets to the public. I book corporate trade shows. William books corporate trade shows. So maybe he'd say, yeah, it's because Tom doesn't really do what we do. He's not a magician. He doesn't do corporate trade shows. He doesn't do birthday parties. He's a theater baby who gets up there and does whatever weird theater crap he does. Here's another one. You guys ready? So Kingston Magic Theater. First of all, first page, A+. plus. I mean, bam. Um... Uh, does anyone have a question about what this guy does? Is there any doubt about what you're going to be seeing on this show? It's the uh, papow. Are you ready? Pick a card. Cause I'm going to find it. Oh no, I'm not. It's in your shoe. <sighs> uh, yeah, this is great. Um, so you're going to have a difficulty cause it looks like you're a venue and a performer at the same time. So your difficulty is going to be scattershot messaging. And I can already see at the top, the show by tickets, gallery reviews, questions, venue, same problem I have. You've, it's, it's a large narrative, so you're always going to struggle with, your instinct is to make a 200-page novel out of your website, and you, Hemingway, Hemingway, Hemingway. But as far as opening image, yeah, got it, bro. Got it. Thursday, April, 7.30, I'm there. How much are tickets? Uh, and there's a buy tickets link right there. And then the thing we're all doing, the reason everybody's here today, the magic will return. Um, yeah, nothing you can do about that. that that's inevitable. So are you guys, as I, as I scroll down, do you, do you guys, are you starting to figure out what I'm looking for? So I'm seeing, here we got quotes right off the bat. So I'm, I'm trying to see if he's selling me on this. What am I noticing? This and not as much these. Boom, 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 boom. Purchase tickets a second time. I love that. Once you think you've closed the deal, Drop that link in. So this is a salesperson asking asking for the sale. So you say, hi, welcome to Tom's Honda. Can I sell you a car? Well, we're looking around. Okay, let me show you some. Here's three. Can I sell you one of those? No. Here's four more. Can I sell you one of those? So what he's done is right off the bat, if you're already sold, click this. Let's go. Do it. You're busy. I'm busy. Get a ticket. Let's see a show. And you go, I don't know. Do you want to go see this guy? I heard good things, but what I really know about him. Oh, honey, he's right down the street. This is great. This is great. Who, what, when, where, why in one image. Make sure it works on a phone. 
Uh, but it's great to open my phone and go, no, no, we're it's 421. It's it's further down this way. That's very, very, very handy to have. <clears throat> Excuse me. These could look a little more like recommendations. I don't know what you would do. Put them on the image, make the image a square, proper square, fill out this whole area and put this text on this image. So that this each block and make it look more like more pow, you know, um, adults get swept into the magic. Perfect date night. Bam, bam on an image, you know, and still amazing evening out. See what you're doing. Astonishment and wonder, amazing evening out. David Johnson. So, you, you know, boom, 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 boom. Um, and then shuffle those, play with those, and sort of, sort of, here are the three talking points about my show. Why should, why should you come see me? Well, killer date night. It ain't a kid's show. I get what you're saying there, too. No, no, no. It's not, I'm not going to do hippity hoppity bunnies. I'm not going to pull a rabbit out of a hat. My magic's going to fry your freaking brain. Um, and they just look a little, this looks way better than this. So take this same aesthetic you've got here and apply it to these three. Uh, yeah, I'm recording everybody. This is all, um, yeah, it'll, it'll be available. I leave, I leave it up. If you want to watch all 17 rambling hours of this, have fun. Okay. And this is, so these look more like quotes, which is what they are. Um, and great. I don't know if you need both blocks, this one and this one's going to be doing the same thing. And then, so you see what he's doing. So you go through here, these three hit you, and then you go, oh, wow, look how great this guy is. I'd like to purchase tickets. Then you go through a bit more because you're trying to decide. And then right here, you could also do purchase tickets if you wanted to. And then send us a message. And the form, I mean, again, I, it's my own personal preference. You know, decide if you love it or not. But here's, here's everything you need. Throw the email in here you know, whatever at whatever.com in case people are like me and don't want to use the form, they can email you unless you need it. If you really care and you say, look, don't email me unless you're going to give me your, your name and a message. Um, and then, yeah, this is, this is the same in Squarespace. It's just a block, a block that I use. And it looks like you can drill down. Yeah, this is great. These are also great photography. I'm very impressed. Um, one thing I saw with variety entertainers, and particularly magicians, because a lot of times you aren't public facing. In other words, you don't sell a ticket to the public. Someone books you to perform at a trade show. So one person writes you a big check and then you perform for hundreds of people or thousands of people. You aren't selling tickets as I do 60 bucks at a time for couples, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, you know, 25, 25, 25, 25. Um, <clears throat> and so the photography often suffers as a result. And I have not seen that yet. I mean, this is a great shot. Clearly someone with at least a pro, maybe it's just an iPhone, but it looks like a really well-composed photo or well-cropped by whoever did it. Um, yeah, these all look absolutely, maybe it's just a matter of technology getting better and better and better. Yeah. And then the, the question always is, do you, do you need them all? But there's, there's so few. I don't, I don't see a problem. I think it's a, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, don't worry, uh, Mr. Skinner. I'm just going right back up. If I skipped you, I'll get back. It's just, uh, we're also chatting in the same chat. Facebook doesn't have a, uh, sorry, uh, YouTube doesn't have a good way to do this. Um, oh, Peter worked front of the house for years. All right, so Kingston Magic Theater. Yeah, that's, that's again, you guys are killing it. So I'm, I'm glad you're here to improve. I wish I had more. Um, oh, let me check your buy tickets page. Hang on, that is important. Yeah, this is this is the same same sort of thing. Yeah, same sort of thing I would have used. Where where is this? Where where are you? Ontario, Kingston, Ontario. Okay, gotcha. Because I'll come see your show next time if I find myself in that neighborhood. That looks. It, it, you have a very slick website. You would have you would have sold me a ticket if uh, if I if I had been looking for something to do. This would this would have worked for me. Uh, Pop potato magic. Holy crap! What a cool name. Um, Papa Tater Magic. All right. Do, 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 do. Well, brevity is the soul of wit. I mean, boom, that's the website. So this is this is a business card format website or simple website. Make sure it stacks pretty on the phone. I guess I just have to say at the beginning of all these, make sure it works on a phone. Um 
and and I'm gonna I'm gonna play the video because this this is a, this is essentially what you're doing is you're letting it all ride on the quality of this video. Thirty seconds, I like that. You've definitely got okay. So bonus points. Thirty second video. This is the page. Like, what do you need to know, people? <laughs> like, book some tater. I don't know if you guys can hear. Yeah, this is this is great. Yeah, I can stop right there. This done. Book it. That's great. Yeah. My my kids turn in twelve. We're having a big thing in the park. We're renting a tent. How much? Like that's uh, done. I need to, I need to start filling out this form. Um so you've got room to add photos if you wanted to, because you did so you laser focused the shit out of this thing, man. Um it is exactly Done. Based on, is it Lancaster? I think it's pronounced. It's not Lancaster, as I want to say it. I don't believe. It's one of those weird, like, Wooster things. But uh, based out of Pennsylvania, you're working the tall grass, my man. That's that's the heart and soul of the variety arts right there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I got, I got, it's, it's clearly you have done exactly what you intended to do. You, you have booked a birthday party with me. It's, you know, my daughter's turning 12, pow, ready to go. Um, so if you're going to do a very simple, and I would say cheap, because that video looks like somebody actually spent a buck on it, as the logo as well. But it's a single page. It'll cost you 100 bucks a year. And this is my big argument if I run across someone's page where you're doing the parties like this guy is, and also trade shows and also libraries. Make it three websites. You know, libraries and, and birthday parties could go together, but trade shows are a whole different thing with a whole different logo with a whole different video. So if Papa Tater has another character he can do for big, big bucks for Honda, Papa Tater needs another website. And and so uh, this can be all you need. This can be all you need. You host it, done. Um, yeah, I got, I got nothing to criticize, man. All the all the colors seem to be your your choice. All the it seems like you've made a definite decision here. Uh, I don't like white text on a black background, but if you've played with every permutation, then you've made a website you're happy with. And I don't think anybody would uh, the little things that I would think are not tacky, but not exactly up to like a modern look, like a clean modern look, would not deter me from. I'm not hiring you to design my website. Hiring you to entertain my kids at a party. Uh, you look like you are more than qualified to entertain my kids at a party. There's a pony over there. You're going to be on a stage over here, face painting over there. Let's do this. Mazel tov, everybody. Um, David, I won't. Uh, that That's William Raider's department. Yeah, so if you guys are, are looking for uh, tags, titles, content for SEO... Um, I'm afraid I think SEO is highly overrated now, as do most e experts on web design, um, that that ship has really sailed with Google's algorithm. Um, you're not going to outsmart that team anymore. That's a 1990s problem. Uh, William disagrees, and he has some some tips and techniques for that. And he is talking about doing this again on Facebook, um, which let me pull up just so if you guys need to. That's me. So if you find that, scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see the social media um, you'll also see my problem with narrative. That's a big website because I am kind of splitting into two categories. I sell tickets through freakshotel.com, but also book a lot of theaters. They pay me, then they need to sell the tickets. So there's this weird like um, skew that I've got to solve where on the one hand, you, the soccer mom, 50 years old, want a night out with your husband or boyfriend, leave the kids at home. I'm your choice. Buy a ticket. The other, you, same lady, but you run a, 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 a subscription theater you want to book me, then you need to sell tickets. So I need to provide you an arsenal of, of stuff. Um, let me see. I want to make sure I didn't skip anybody. Let me go back up. Uh, David, so I do Facebook ads. So my, my market is very laser focused. I sell you a ticket. You come see my show. So I know a 50 year old white woman is my demo. They need to like, uh, a lot of theater shows and that's who I'm selling to. So my is I'm not pulling people from the comedy club into the theater or from the magic castle into the theater or from the bar into the theater. No, I'm right in between late night catechism, me, bloody, bloody Andrew Jackson. And if you know those other two shows, you know, the demo I'm going for within the theater. 
So I'm the bad boy of subscription theater. My audience, the entire front row is oxygen tanks and blue hair. I'm the youngest person in that room some nights and I'm 47 years old, guys. I'm the, I'm the kid. Um, so it, for me is I've, I've pulled you in there. Uh, Richard, I 70, 30, four wallet. Uh, I started off four walling a lot. Um, but right now I think if this, if the world goes back the way it was, my October and September are going to be huge because what I'm getting right now, and this may be helpful for those of you who like me sell tickets. Um, I'm kind of known as a killer. I'm the guy that sells out now 200 seats. I'm not filling up Madison square garden here. I know my place. Um, but these theaters know that when they book me, I do well, meaning they expected 50 people. I got 71. So it's nowhere near full, but they expected 50. They averaged 40 and I got 71. They're thrilled. Or yeah, he blows the doors out. He sold out three weeks in advance. So they're calling me because they need a fucking hit. They, they need some money in their pocket. Uh, so what I started doing was four walling, got a reputation and the theaters found me because they all talk. They're all small. Talk. So um, they say we need something kind of edgy, kind of cool that can get on TV because plays don't get on morning TV. And they go, oh, we had this dude named Tom. It does this kind of like sciencey comedy thing where he eats fire and stuff. You should call that guy because he got all over the media and he did well. And then just be likable. Don't be drunk, be on time, smell nice, be kind to people as you load in your show. Um, make sure you're communicating. If you want to drop a bunch of F-bombs, make sure that's somewhere on the poster. Uh, if you are family friendly, make sure that's somewhere on the poster so they don't complain. Uh, let me see. That was pop. also pop potatoes. A great name, by the way. I didn't mention that. That's uh, that'll stick with someone. And I will I will forever defend the birthday party clown, the birthday party magician as the heroes that do not get enough. Um, oh, sorry. Dot net for Al Skinner. Um, you guys don't get enough cred. People people take a crap on you and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, I'll post the video, uh, pop potato, but overall you killed it. It's great. It did. I was same thing with, uh, the other two. I'm, I'm picking nits here. You guys are really, the nice thing is because we've gone online, it's really working out well. So this may be a limitation with my computer right now. There you go. Okay. So the video loaded and slowly do not, don't, don't worry about that. My, uh, Bandwidth is being hit hard with this streaming and I've prioritized the streaming packets over everything else on my router. Don't worry. Uh, t test it on other computers to make sure it is just, but for right now I'm assuming this is a me problem. Let me refresh your page because it looks like you're banking on that initial image and it was killer. It just... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You've done what I've done, which is uh, it's probably Squarespace probably using the same template actually. And you put some stuff on top. And then check it on a phone. Make sure it works on a phone. But yeah, it looks great. Looks looks fantastic. I think I saw this. I believe uh, you might have commented earlier. Because I think I, I swear I saw that hug thing. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Because I remember the uh, Houdini's pins and needles. Yeah, killer. Yeah, I've got some eye candy to look at as I go down. Okay, there's your corporate work right there. You guys want to get hired by these guys. That's what you do. That's that's my version of buy ticket. This is interesting. This I guess a lot of uh, this sounds like a concern a lot of companies have had, and so you're just getting right out there in front and being like, "Hey, squeaky clean." Or as a, uh, I don't know if this is just my agent, and he's he's an older gentleman. He calls it there's so there's clean, and then there's Disney clean. And Disney clean, it sounds like, is what you're explaining here. Like, no, no, Donnie and Marie Osmond in the Church of Mormon, no problem. Got it. Uh, Branson at noon for your grandpa, got it. So Disney clean. I uh, love this. Not on stage, not off stage. And that's, again, that sort of save me the headache, man. Don't try and bang the CFO of my company because you got three martinis in you at the dinner party afterwards. Like, please, we're a fortune 500 company here. Let's all act like it. And so that's right off the bat. If I'm looking to book you that boom. Okay. You killer visuals. You've done it before. Maybe I know someone who works at Juniper. <clears throat> You'd be amazed how much that happens where I can call my friend Gary at Juniper and ask him about you. And then pow. Um, going to see, but I bet it's the same kind of quality. Do not panic as this takes a second to load. 
again, that is that is not a, I mean, double check it. Maybe you have a huge flaw on your website, but don't base that on looking at me right now. Yeah, it's not, you're making a stupid face too, sorry. I'll freeze you on a good, there you go. Huh. Eh, check this. This is probably just because I've, I've told my router what order to shift things in and out of the house. And I've told it streaming first, please, then everything else. And my router may just be beating your website over the head. How many of these do you need? Do people need six of those? Um, or could this... Six B two videos. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 um that's it. Again, I'm always looking for ways to say this in a single word, say this in a, 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 a but maybe these are six different companies that if I knew the name of them, there's six different categories of companies and you do need them. Just ask yourself those questions. Every time you add something, do I need to add? Can I take away? Is always the question. This is killer. I remember this before. So what has happened here is my guess is you hired a really top-notch professional to make you a killer brochure and you used that brochure as a template, or they did, for your website. Because this is this is the goal, people. This this level of uh, the photography, the 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 text, uh, someone is very good at text. Um Mer now Merlin says the more video reviews, the better in their experience. So there you go. There's there's a counter tomorrow. Maybe you need 50. Just ask yourself the question. Would one do it? Or how about this, Merlin? What if all six were within 30 seconds a single video? And I could just watch bam to bam to bam. You know, oh, he's the best one ever. Cut to a lady. Oh my God, he was so amazing. Cut to a guy. Look, I'm a CEO. I hire a lot of folks. This guy was the best. See what I mean? So let's let's see if there's other ways to skin this cat. But this cannot be improved. Did this this is that that's how it's done, right there. Smiling faces, some subliminal, some very clear. This is him on stage. Look at this girl's face. I mean, good Lord, he's destroyed this woman. She is wrecked for the rest of her function. Fantastic quotes. I get the idea right away. That's almost uh, uh, the first image. You know, if the video is as a backup, you can put a, an image for backups. So the video doesn't load, load that. That tells the whole story. And you look kind, you look fun, you look funny, and you don't look like the kind of dirty bastard who's going to get on stage and drop a bunch of F-bombs and then get sloppy at the reception on tequila. You look like a good, nice person. Um, same thing here, killer photography, forms. He's a nice guy, really. There you go, boom. Um, oh, that's not, I can't highlight that. That's a, that's a, is it possible to put one? I can see what I was trying to do with my cursor. I was trying to, sorry, I get it up here. I was trying to copy paste. And I can't select it because it's a GIF. Now, it's not going to slow anybody down really, but is there a place you could put that? Okay, so here we've got a different show. Or not. So up here you're doing, okay, so what you're offering is a stage show for corporations. And that might have been what the video would tell me. Forgive me if this is exactly what the video is designed to do. I assumed you were performing in smaller arenas, but it looks like you're doing their big corporate celebration. There you are. Okay, yeah. So you're at their big corporate celebration, their big corporate dinner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. I think the only thing I could tell you is look at every single word and make sure it can't be shorter. Because I think maybe here you're doing what's called sell, sell past the close. Um, put the button, man. Let me buy. Uh, this photo is great, though. So I see your problem. You have a lot of killer photos, and it's hard to take one out because they're all your children. Oh, 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 guys, down here. This is a setting. You get rid of that. You just, if, you, if you're on Squarespace, if you... Um, Let's go try and log me into yours. Never mind. I'll go back. Um, if you look under settings, you can take out that uh, that uh, that Squarespace logo at the bottom. Just, I mean, if you don't care, fine. But it, it clean it up. You don't need to. You pay them. You don't need to advertise for them. This, okay, that's what I was looking for. A way to copy that because then I can right click and choose uh, in Google right here, which says look up uh, in Google in Chrome, uh, which is my my usual browser. I'm using Safari because it uses less resources because I'm streaming. Uh, normally I would right click, click call, click call and my Android phone would ring and it'd be calling your phone. And that's how I make a lot of phone calls. So make sure people aren't doing that, but that's fine. Yeah. Al at alskinner.net. Yeah. It's, it's the problem is you're spoiled for choice. You've got too much great material. 
but everything looks, I don't think you have, that's hilarious. Wait, hang on. Performances. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so I'm on your media page now. This is great. Press kit. So yeah, typos, but um, okay, this, that, yeah, that, okay. This is, this is, good Lord, you send me this guy's name once, or this person's name, once I can afford them, I need to hire them to make me a brochure. This is amazing. Yeah, and this, and so if you hire a designer to make you a brochure, that using that designer as a template to design your own website is not a bad idea. This person knows what they're doing. They knew which quotes to, they probably fought with you over putting quotes in. And they said, no, no, I don't like that one. Give me a better one. They know what they're doing. And so once you've got this, you see how they see your show and that gives you a narrative. So I'm talking about looking for a narrative. What is it you do? This person has, has done that. Um, yeah, this is, this is fantastic. This is, this is wonderful. You guys need very little help. I feel bad. I want someone to have a really terrible website that I can help. I can be like, all right, let's start at the beginning. Um, let's go back to that view. And Richard Torres. Richard. Make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Torres. Magic. Gotcha. Okay, we are nailing it with the magicians, and I guess because you're such visual entertainers, pow. Every, every one of these initial images has been, and even Pop Potatoes, who who's looks a little bit more homey. Um, uh, no, I got, no, it's not, is it Tate? Um, because because you're pitching to, like, yeah, if that were a corporate web page, I would have ripped you a new one, man. That's crazy. If you were going for the same, uh, if you and Al Skinner were competing for a contract ever, you're going to get ripped up. You're going to get decimated. You're going to starve to death in the streets. But I was looking at it as the soccer dad from Pennsylvania. My kids turn in, uh, well, anywhere between six and seven to 14, 15, depending on how in the variety arts there. Do they love America's Got Talent? Do they love uh, Penn and Teller's Fool Us? 16, 17. Um, so I'm trying to put that lens on. And then the same thing when I'm looking at Al Skinner, I'm thinking, okay, what if I were a banker for my corporate event, which is why I love that line about basically I'm not a dirty old man ever, 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 ever. I'm a squeaky clean dude all the damn time from load in to load out from day to night. Uh, that appealed to me because I don't want to deal with, I don't drink. And so people who get drunk are a mystery to me. And so I don't like dealing with them. So that says to me, you're not going to get sloppy. You're not going to screw something up. You're not going to make me look bad because when I book you as the banker, especially if my job is in entertainment, um, that's my one time a year I get to pick the entertainer. If I pick the wrong guy, that's on me and I look terrible. All right, Mr. Torres. Um, the image is great. I love the fact that it's original. It looks more like you're just a, a model, man. You're, you and American Apparel have a deal. You're not showing me your hands. You don't have a card. You're not doing this thing with your, with your face. Um, you're branding more like a, like a David Blaine would. Uh, is that his name, David Blaine? The, the kind of creepy guy who just sort of looks around at people. He's not my favorite performer. I don't even know his name. That's why. Uh, but but say David Copperfield would have had linking rings or a rabbit or flames or something. So you're going with a more stripped down, cool kind of hip approach. Um, and I like your choice of font, it, but it looks very much like you've just, you've made an ad. And then scrolling down... Make sure this isn't happening on other people's computers. You see, you see, you see what I'm saying? Like it's it's a little wonky, and this can be one single image, and that'll take care of that. Now it means that every time you got to save that PSD file, that Photoshop file, or whatever you use, uh, and open it up later. But and that's again Safari on a MacBook Pro. It may not happen, and it matters most on a phone. But maybe this could be two images, and then it won't squish over a little bit. Um, and same thing here. So if you're coding this yourself, this is the problem with coding it yourself. You get to write a lot of code. Um, and every operating system changes. Now, I'm fully updated. Everything's, uh, as of this morning, fully updated on Safari. But everything, this is great. And then, boom, into the website. I love that. This, this was a problem even five years ago. I would yell at people about these endless websites with so many pages. So I'm glad to see that somehow we've all got the memo. Uh, because I don't believe Richard Torres and I have ever met and that's it. I'm at the end of the page. So that's, so now the question becomes journey with me here. You want to book Richard Torres. 
right? So, so you got to find him a job. Let me ask you, what job does he want? And as you look down through here, right? So corporate event, bridal shower, private party, De La Saya Hall, um, a wedding. So I would say make it a little clearer what it, on the, on the first page, if you can, if you can, on this page, why not bank it all right here? Roll it, put it all on black and spin the wheel, Richard. Um, do you want to do walk around? Do you want to do a stage show? Not you can do walk around or a stage show. Which one do you want to do? Pitch that one first. They'll always, assume. I get calls to do fucking library shows for fucking kids. They, they do that. They do that. They call me. I go, I don't say this to them. I say, no, thank you. But what I'm thinking is, what part of my website are you looking at, you moron? They assume you can do birthday parties next to the pony show. The pony show? Wait a minute. That's the Godfather. Sorry, next to the ponies walking around. Um, that's, yeah, they, they are going to assume that. They're going to ask you to do things that you're like, well, Al Skinner, I'm sure, gets this. Could you, could you do my daughter's bat mitzvah? And he's like, what, what part of... MGM Grand Hotel are you renting? You're going to get those calls. Don't worry about it. They will assume you do the thing they want to do. But give me a little clearer idea of what the Torres experience at my blank would be. You're saying, hey, are you having a special function? I'll make it more special. Does that involve a stage? Or do you mean you're going to be just kind of creeping through the audience like they do at the Magic Lounge here in Chicago? Little clusters of people going, hey, like, like David Blaine. Going, hey, do you want to see something cool? Think of a number and freaking them out. And let me get an image of how you fit into my plan. Remember, I'm calling you with a vision already. So let's say it is my daughter's bat mitzvah. I'm going to splash out. It's the big expense. We don't do Christmas. We spend money on this. I'm going to rent a hall. It does have a stage. But I also want the guy walking around doing the little bunnies in the hands trick for the kids. And my grandma loves card tricks. So I need to hire two or the same person. I don't know, but I've got a little stage and I've got this other thing I want. So make sure you're speaking to my narrative. So if 95% of what you're getting is already walk around, lean into it, man. Lean into it. Triple that. Then work on your stage show. Then work on our website that says you have both. So I would have a photo over here maybe, or even next to this, if you made this one image here, then another picture here. And you saw these with a, with Al and some of the others too, of it's the smiling person and you're clearly one-on-one -on -one in a little puddle. So what, and getting photography is difficult, I know. Believe you, I, I use a lot of images that are drawn because photography is so expensive to get and hard to nail. But if you have a photo in your arsenal that looks like that, four or five people, you've clearly just kind of interrupted, but not in a bad way, interrupted them during their appetizers to show them a little card trick or read their mind and they're holding something and ah, what and laughing drop that in there because then i immediately know where i'm going to put you and i make the call um yeah some some small coding stuff here and there but eh, this, is, this is great the quotes are great i like the use of stars that's always fun um let's go through let's let's all right and this is where you'll get a better idea. So here are your answer. Oh, there you go. That's exactly, there's exactly the photograph I was describing. Boom. Get that on the front page. Because if you're telling me that's what I, if I pay you money, you will do that at my party. Get that on the page. That's what I want. And it can still stay here. You can repeat it. That's fine. Um, it's a killer photo. That's cool. I like the one, two, three. Don't, don't give them a B. Don't give them B. B. Be bold. Be bold. Sales is about asking for the close. And that's a hard thing to do. And I know it's tough. You don't want to be pushy. I'm ready to book. You know, that, that's a fine way to put it. I always, in my messaging, I'll say like, um, tickets are running low. Get yours now. It's yours. It's yours. Someone else is going to get it. What? You don't want them to get your ticket. Your ticket's going to sell to someone else. It's your ticket. So, you know, you, you got to unfortunately be a little douchey. Uh, nah, arguably, okay, Richard, officially every word matters. They're each beautiful little snowflakes of sales technique, but it's a button. I'm going to assume it takes me to a purchase page anyway. So I've used, uh, get yours now, buy a ticket, book online, buy now. I think there's power to those words, but you can play around with them. 
Um, but I would say giving them a plan B is a little is a little strange here, and it denotes a lack of confidence. And that's what you've got to fight is that we don't want to be pushy. And honestly, performers that argue oftentimes are the worst salesmen. We're, we're charismatic, but we're not great salesmen. This is cool. This is this is neat. No, I'm just watching you do stuff with cards. That's pretty. Yeah. And I would do the the this this is what I want to see. Focus on them more than you in your shots, which is the David Blaine technique of showing the audience, not the performer. And yeah, okay, so now we're sort of fun. That's killer. That is kill. See what I mean? That's that's what I want at my party. It's not necessarily you that I want. It's that. That's what I want. That's the product you're selling me. How the chef makes the steak doesn't interest me at all. That's the reaction I get on the dinner table. So that's what I'm paying for. So now I picture, God forbid, my aunt kind of looks like her. Oh, you booked it, you know. Well, not entirely because you're trying to brand yourself. Remember your branding. So um, get some images on that front page, one or two, carefully chosen, that are this kind of like, you know, that's you. <laughs> that's all of you I need to see because I just saw the killer model shot of you at the beginning because you still need to brand you. And that's not a bad idea to brand the not just a magician, baby. I'm Richard Torres. A magician, please. I'm Torres. That is not a bad idea to have. And that kind of douchey face I'm making is kind of how you have to do sales. Um, yeah, this is great. So now you're just into a fun gallery of, of you got killer photography too. So good news is you're, you're just like Al Skinner here. You're going to be spoiled for choice. Resist the urge to put 500 of them because um, it looks like you have 500 killer photographs. Uh, let's see. I think Zach is next. Forgive me as this is. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I have nothing else to do because I'm sure there's much more uh, efficient ways to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, so also feel free to bail once I've covered your um, your website. I will not be offended. Uh, ZM shows. Now I've seen ZM shows dot com. Zach and I have done shows together and we'll be doing more um, in the future. All right, here we go. So, bow. I'm assuming that auto plays. And it's, it's, oh yeah, so Zach, uh, let's pause for that question. Um, Al, everyone I've covered so far, actually, I think, um, how do you get such great live shots? So what are, are you guys just doing so many shows and making buddy buddy with the wedding photographer? Or are you hiring people? So yeah, Lincoln, Al, and Richard. Uh, Zach, I can tell you that I have a friend named Serena, and she's a dear friend of mine, and she was at the time, um, that's this shot, um, she was moving towards being a wedding photographer, so she was doing it a little bit, wanted to do it more professionally. So she just invested in a lot of equipment, and it was a real trade for the two of us. She said, like, I'll give them to you, use them for ads, don't give credit, she doesn't care. Um... I need to take photos of live events and you'd be good practice. She liked my show. My show was being performed in her boyfriend's theater because she introduced me to her boyfriend because she said, you need to play my boyfriend's theater. Um, so she was a fan of my work and I a fan of hers. So I got all the two years in a row because she took pictures the first year and then it was like, I need to take pictures of your show again because I see those pictures and they make me sad because she'd gotten so much better. So she didn't want to take pictures again. I barely saw a difference, but she saw a huge difference. So I replaced them with the new ones. And that's kind of a trick I've used over the years. You find someone who, like you, is up and coming and wants to TFP, trade for photos or trade for pics. Uh, models often do that where you'll both get a release for it. She'll be the model, you'll be the photographer, and you get to practice taking photos. Since what we do, and especially you, so if you guys don't know, Zachary is the fire-eating hypnotist. Well, you see it up top, top right there. right next to, next to his, uh, Great photo, by the way. That is a great shot. Um, great idea. Good concept. I'm going to find that photo and blow it up for everybody in a few minutes because it is worth taking a note of. So since the beginning of your show is so visually impressive, ask students. Um, oh, and so Richard, those were taken just by a buddy or like a buddy who happens to be a badass photographer who's worked for, you know, Playboy and National Geographic because those are remarkably good shots for just a dude who came with you or a chick you were dating. Byron Gray is a great name, by the way. Are you, are you, I'll get to you in a second, but he, 
Hello, I'm Byron Gray, and I'm here to read your mind, or hypnotize you. That's hilarious. So Richard is saying, I take photos for magicians, and I directed my friends on where to stand. <laughs> That's how you do it. Leave nothing to chance, people. Um, all right, while you guys are chit-chatting, I'm going to go through... All right, so Zach's video I've seen. My only complaint with your video, Zach, is get it shorter. Three minutes and 35 is way too long. You can have it still for people who want to watch all of it, but give me the give me the bullet points here. Your sales pitch should be very short, and your video should be very short and reflect your sales pitch. Um, and then, yeah, Hurry Before It Sells Out Again is great. Now, uh, uh, Zach has done shows in his hometown, I believe. It's his hometown of Waukegan, Illinois, which is just north of Chicago, Illinois. Um, and when it's sort of, yeah, uh, near Chicago, it's Chicago, Illinois adjacent. Uh, and he's known for particularly this, these, uh, theaters in his hometown. He just sells them out multiple nights in a row, um, hundred seat theaters and they're just gone, gone, gone. So that's put there specifically for that crowd. Who's like, Hey man, you missed it last time. That's the get your ticket sort of pitch. Um, yeah, just 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 whack it down, uh, Zach. Just and keep this one if you love it. That's fine. Someone will watch the whole thing. Get tickets here. There you go. So that's that verbiage we're talking about, Richard. Does it matter? I don't know. I get the idea. Yours was just as clear as Zach's. I'm not confused. Get what? Get who? How? What? Now click there. It'll take you to well attended or Eventbrite or something. And this is okay. So this is bands in town. I've used this as my calendar too, um, but eh, none of them are really great. <laughs> Uh, this is the same thing I've done. Uh, it works fine because you can see where you can get tickets. And this will change to sold out once you go and mark it as sold out on event on, a, on a bands in town. So if you go to Zach's, which is zmshows.com, and click track artist, it'll take you to the bands in town page. And you can make your own site there. Post it there for the Google Foo. There is some SEO you can use. Make sure you're posting it to bands in town. And make sure any event you can, you make a Facebook event for. This I forgot about, but I've covered it in another podcast with William. It's an important note. Uh, so if you weren't paying attention, real quick, <laughs> pay attention. Uh, when you make that Facebook event and you put your data in there, you put your description, make it a good one because there's tons of sites that feed off it like parasites and they replicate it. So when you search yourself, when you Google yourself, you'll see your event on Facebook, but on some website you never heard of, events, events, events.org. And when you click it, it goes to your Facebook page. They link to yours. They just, it's a robot just crawling Facebook looking for crap. Also an important note, when you put up in a public event, you need to go in the settings, every comment approved by the moderator. You will see this new scam. Hey, we bought tickets and the wife and I can't make it. Does anyone want to buy them? They are lying. They are scammers robbing your potential customers. Do not approve those messages. They're bullshit. And then make sure every comment goes out with some of that um and then Torres is saying if you want some tips get in touch with me uh Richard if you want to um uh shoot me an email I'd love to do this I got Skype brother we can set up a, a two-way back-to-back and what I'll do is just basically ask you questions you'll answer and we'll we'll do it like an interview style because uh yeah I'm always I'm always happy to have people on who, who know um so yeah, make sure you're putting it on Facebook, make sure you're putting it on bands in town, and then make sure you're submitting it to your local newspaper. Even if like Zach, you feel like you could probably sell out, that all gets into Google. And it is handy when they Google like shows in Waukegan, Zach, fire eating, or they don't know, fire eating, hypnotist, they misspell hypnotist, hypmotist, Waukegan, and what pops up is Zachary Morton, sold out, sold out, sold out on sale. Ooh, fuck, I'm buy a ticket. That's nice to have. Um, yeah. Okay. So the good news, Zach, bam, done. Do you want to buy or not people get it on there? Okay. Tickets. Is this going to a different website or, Oh, we're on the tickets page. Sorry. So you, you open with the tickets page. That's fine. Um, great shot. Great photo. Why are you asking how to get photos for, you know, someone call this person back dummy. What? Jesus Christ, man. So I'm calling Zach a dummy cause he's a friend of mine. Cause right now he's calling me an asshole. <laughs> at home <laughs> i won't insult most of you like that um this is great are they just too expensive because this is a great shot of you and it really captures. i've met you that's what you look like when you're really smiling i mean it's a little we all look a little fake when we do it but yeah man that's that's you you're a personable charismatic dude you dummy um t-shirts great look at this that's a great t-shirt he's got killer for let me i'll show you this one in a second somehow this goes back to the home page um so okay he's got t-shirts for sale you guys 
Support your friends by t-shirts. There, okay. Let me find it. Oh, that's his promo. I'll get to it. The one photo I want. He doesn't have it on here. Uh, make sure you're not putting too much amateur stuff. Make sure you pull the stuff off. Like, I cut down the... Okay, see that? See that photo? That's... And again, my website. My internet's going to be extremely slow. That's a killer. Don't steal this. That's his. Don't steal it. You bastards. That's his. But the Hypno Shield... And the, the, the only thing I'd watch next time you get it photographed, different color background. See how the shield bleeds into the black behind you? Um, white seamless will work. And if you can't do it, I can pull you off in Photoshop and, and, and give you one that's a clean plate of it. Um, or blue, red, and just, just have a color palette behind you all the time. Um, so it, it's you playing on the sidewalk is not a good look in your T-shirt. For your website, leave it up on the Instagram, leave it up on your personal YouTube page where you can be more informal. But if you're trying to get me to pay you 2000 bucks to come do this at my theater, this, it's not good enough. Um, the, the show is, but the, the video, it needs to be higher quality. And then you in a t-shirt outside what looks like a variety open mic in Waukegan, it, it ain't impressing nobody there. Uh, and your, your first page does. Your first page looks like you're a sold out performer who's, who's going to be doing this stuff. You have, okay, I see. Oh, I gotcha. This is fine. Yeah. Uh, I see what you're doing here. And it looks like it's the size for a phone. If you guys are wondering, like, what's all this empty space? He's made it phone size. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You're, you're doing a whole strategy thing. Like, what are you doing with your hands? That's hilarious. You can crop this photo. <laughs> crop, crop that photo right there. <laughs> you and I have the same problem. They go pose and I go... Uh, but from the from the from the belly button up, that's a great shot. It's just kind of funny, like down here, like oh, I'll do it with my hands. What do you do with your hands? I'm not a model. Um, yeah, it's videos. It's video. And get this photo somewhere on your website. This is this is killer. You can drop this photo just right here at the bottom. Put the info. Leave this here. Leave this here exactly the way it is. But then also copy and paste this onto this guy at the top and drop it at the bottom, almost like a little business card down here. It's a really great photograph. People need to see it, and people may want to use it. You can also make this where it doesn't have to scroll, where it's going to be a single a single size. Uh, just if you're using Squarespace, you are not, or you don't have the uh, escape key function turned on. Um, that's uh, you'll width and then length, and you'll see it in the code when you do the markdown code. Just change the length, and just make sure you copy what you've got there initially. And then don't erase that copy. Put it on a note file so you can always go back to what you had if you screw it up. Change the length until it's the length you want it to be. Save that. It literally just says like width and length. You can't miss it. All right, let's see. We're wrapping up with our last, last few. All right. I think. Hang on a second. Uh, wow, he's got pickpocket.com. Holy crap, dude. It's a great one. Did you buy that in 1999? And this is a good point, too. So Pickpocket Gene uh, has pickpocket.com, also Pickpocket Gene, which forwards to pickpocket.com. And if you think that you need more than one domain, those are 12 bucks each through Google. I'd recommend getting them through Google also because you get a free email address um, before 1999. Yeah, so, so Pickpocket Gene, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, like me, you're a huge dork who loves computers. So that's how I got a lot of my domains is because I was there with me and Adam Curry. Adam Curry is the VJ who famously got MTV.com and then won a court case to keep it so he could then sell it to MTV.com for millions of dollars. He also uh, arguably invented podcasting. That's Adam Curry. He invented the RSS packet idea to put MP3s into an RSS feed. And that's podcasting. Um, see? Dork. Um, if So your pixelization, I see what you've done. You've cropped in. This is off a TV screen. If you can get higher res versions, I love the content, but it's a little blurry for a first image, for a first impression. These will be fine further down if you've got better. Um, but just as you're getting photography, try and get less fuzzy looking. It's just not as much fun to look at. And then you've got a nice crisp keynote, keynote speaker photo down here. This is great. I like this little uh, button thing. Make sure all this works on a phone. Um, that's interesting. So little twirl downs. Um, 
you may be using space a little too efficiently with this idea. It's a cool idea, but I don't know. I think it could be expanded. You're not you're not having the problem I'm having with Freak Show and Tell, which is I I need to cut down the words. Um, this is all fine down here because this is technically extraneous information. It kind of counts as a separate thing. This is great, and the moving around is fine too, and it's working on Safari. Uh, so it's a well-coded website. Yeah, I would question if you need this cool little bibbity 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 and if it works on a phone. Um, if Facebook's important to you, put it there. Um, depends on how you get booked. And you can put a bit more. So, all right, this is a great shot. Bulletproof. The Bulletproof Monk. Uh, okay, so specialties. Get some idea... Of, all right, so you're you're clearly a pickpocket. Why would I need a pickpocket? And so I thought you were doing parties here, and it looks like you're also doing high-level trade show stuff. So make your opening narrative a little clearer. I mean, you've got the three here, and if that's the three you're aiming for, I guess... Yeah, I, is, there, is there a way to make this... Maybe on the images up top, possibly, or maybe pop them out a little bigger. And this is so cool. It's probably hard to get rid of. It, man, it's real efficient, though. If you're trying to save space, it's a great idea. But I think you've got the space. I think you've got the room. And then, sorry, the videos aren't going to play that well. Okay, good. So YouTube plays better than others. And then, yeah. So this is what I was talking about before. Someone said testimonials. So Gene's got four minutes of testimonials, but it's a different person every few seconds. And this is completely locked up. Give it a second. There we go. So that that's what I was wondering. Like, So this lady and then this guy and then this fella, who's clearly a doctor, you can tell, stethoscope, and then this lady. So yeah, this is, this is what I was talking about before with the other, with the six, can you do it as a single video file that I can just kind of watch and get an idea. Um, oh, this is cool. So it's a separate idea, but... Um, yeah, so so you're playing on the idea of there's a security element to what he's doing. So if you book Gene, you don't just get a good show. You also get real-world practical ways to protect yourself from identity theft, from a pickpocket. Uh, this will play real well in my hometown of New Orleans uh, for keynotes there because famously there aren't really that many pickpockets, but there's famously a lot of pickpockets and sailors and prostitutes in New Orleans. Contact page is a contact page. Um, yep, that's what they look like. Uh, throw the... Can you, can you, do you, do you, are you averse to throwing your number up here, your email up here, like give me data so I don't have to fill all this out if I just want to shoot you a text? Um, and then you can shop, you can buy Gene merchandise. Oh, it goes to, okay, gotcha. Wait, that was the shop. Shop page goes to Facebook, which is a little weird. Made me feel like maybe I did it wrong. Um, but a great logo. Great Facebook page, by the way, guys. Um, but yeah, the only thing I would change is make that an actual shop. Or maybe you had a shop and it's a placeholder for a shop in the future. Let me see. Da, 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 da. All right, so Byron Gray. Okay, I think that's our last one. Okay, so I'm going to do Byron Gray, and then if I skipped you, now's the time to retype it in the bottom. Or if now you've looked at it and you're like, wait, I have a specific question. Um, oops. Not oops on your, don't worry, Byron. I fat fingered my, I'm typing to the side over here. Another great example of, okay, so this is what the magicians do well. Everyone who's here who's not a magician, take a note, bam. So this is, this is smooth and savvy. Zachary Woof, Woof, New York Times. That's awesome. Um, yeah, okay, so right, right, so Magician Byron Gray. So there's no question here. There you are. This could be almost anything in the variety arts. So you could have been a mentalist. You could have been a hypnotist. And so as soon as I scroll down, pow. Gotcha, pickpocket gene. Okay, scroll down on Facebook and you'll find the shop. Which is fine. I mean, if, if people are buying, then they're not confused like me. Maybe because I'm not focusing on your website, I'm hosting a show at the same time um interesting is that a problem other people have um 
if you have the ability to, uh, byrongray.com, click a video and see if you, uh, if you get that or if it's, again, I'm blocking some traffic. Good job on the brevity. Pow. One page. I think we all learned from Apple is what's happened. It looks like we've all gone to buy a new iPad and been like, oh, I get it. <laughs> um, and then up here. Yeah, I have a hatred for white on black. If you don't have perfect eyeballs, meaning you're over 29, it can be difficult. Um, other than that, uh, make it like normal paper, black ink on white print, and see if you absolutely hate it. And then if you don't, help everyone old enough to have a child out and uh, make it nice and legible on their phone. But yeah, it's great. F fantastic imagery. Especially if you are a magician, especially if you're doing cards. If you're not a magician doing cards, you have a problem. But here we go. I get it. You're a card magician. Also, black on red, that is painful to look at. That's much better. I mean, that 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 is tough on the eyes. This is fine up here, although I would really a different color that is absolutely that's fine that's painful that that red is oh, not not a not a great choice love 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 this this background though this is fantastic and we'll work on a phone because you could you could crop whatever size you see that the hands are front and center it doesn't matter they could go full screen imax um again the coin this is killer photography uh, zach message this guy get his get his information We'll, we'll drive there and have his photographer take pictures of you because this is this is fantastic. And here, okay, the form is hidden here. Fine, it's fine. You're in the middle of your, this is your sales pitch. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, this could be clipped out. Um, I don't know if people request an entire from beginning to end. If they do, that's fine. Maybe you could link them. So like this where it's a smooth and sassy, if I click it, it could open up the New York Times article bigger. Not link to another website. Just it gets bigger. It expands like you saw with a uh, uh, jeans website. It, it twirls, twa, twirls out, I believe is the term. Media, same problem with the video. Different. Okay, so it's just that one video, man. Fix your one video. Yeah, okay. That's that's killer. Yeah, you got great photography. So I'm trying to click contact, and that's uh, that's my computer locking up. Don't freak out. Oh, man. That is amazing. Yeah, if you can put this in a box or drop it down, you see how it's got, it's kind of blown out. But, I mean, you're using all text, which is good, because that means it'll show up in the Google Foo for the SEO. If you could type this on the image, maybe, maybe here, um, and then, ah, this is tough. This is a tough one, because it's not going to work on a phone. Play with this. I love the image. Maybe shrink it to where you're just right here and this is all black. Uh, play with this because this, this is an image worth keeping up with. This is striking. It's interesting. And um, people who aren't in the variety arts, which is 99.9% .9 of the world, have no idea what a blindfold act is or a sight beyond sight act. And then if you're doing something specific to magic, I don't know it. I know variety arts in general. So I would know Houdini. I would know uh, uh, Harry Keller. I would know, you know, the bigs, especially from the turn of the century, last millennium. So I know the sightless acts, those those who see but don't see. Fantastic. You can put your contact right across your face right here. Um, don't do that. Uh, but overall, the good news is you guys have strong web websites. So let's see again this. Find out more. That color just is not a great, it's fine color. But with black text, it doesn't work. It works up here. This is fine. Don't worry about this. This works. This hurts. That might be the better choice than have it go a slightly different yellow when you hover over. Hover over is fine. Doesn't matter. That's okay, actually. Just do it white. Play video on white on red is fine. Just change that to white. And then not yellow. Change it to something else. Subscribe now. Eh, I don't know. The colors on the buttons are a little wonky of a choice. I wish this photo... If you got... Okay, so under media... Yeah, put a couple of your pictures here also. Um, you've got good photography and you've got the room there. I don't normally find myself advocating for more data on websites. I'm usually chop, 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 chopping, but you guys are pretty good at this. Okay, let's wrap up uh, hour 16 of our time together. <sighs> Did I skip anyone? Speak now forever, hold your peace. 
Uh, we're going to do this again. Um, I want to get Mr. Torres in on one of these. And then also I want to bring William Rader back because uh, some of you guys had specific questions about SEO, and I'm sorry. He at the last minute had a, uh, a schedule conflict. I didn't ask. Uh, he just said schedule conflict, and I said, okay. Doesn't sound like it's my business. Um, that's it. Uh, if you guys want, uh, I give away copies of my cookbook. If you sign up for my mailing list, you'll get a free copy of my cookbook. I used to be a chef, and now I'm a professional fire eater. So I wrote a cookbook that's spicy cooking. It's free. I'm not selling it to you. Go to my, my mail here. I'll put it back on screen. Go there. It'll pop up. Type in your email address. Instantly, it's MailChimp, so you can unsubscribe. I don't care. You're performers. Look, you want to get the free cookbook, then unsubscribe? We're good. I don't care. It's my gift to you. Um, it's 11 recipes. If you like spicy food, it's called Kiss the Fire Eater. It's a gimmicky cookbook. But I'm writing a new one, and so I'm giving away the old one. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> oh, Richard, yeah, I want to get you on. Uh, you had mentioned something about I want to sit down with you doing one of these as a, as a talking head between the two of us. Um, that's my website. Email me. Um, you can find contact page. Uh, shoot me an email and we'll set that up. If you, if you have Skype and have some time, because I think this could be a, a real benefit to people. Um, and then especially you guys who had killer websites. Uh, thanks for your time. Cause you didn't get a ton out of this other than like a pat on the back and an out of boy. Maybe I've caught one typo on someone's website. Um, thank you for bringing that and your valuable time and sitting here with us because answering questions from Zach, from me about how to do this will help everyone else who's watching and not participating. Some people are too shy. I can see the number of people watching and the number of people commenting and there's a disparity there. They either don't have a website yet or they were embarrassed. They saw, especially the first couple I pulled out and they're like, oh, I'm not putting mine in there. Good God, these guys are professionals. So now they're going back and they're looking through their stuff and they're figuring out how to improve. Uh, I'll do this again and again and again until uh, the government comes and says we can go outside and play. So if you have specific questions about marketing, if I don't know the answer, like with SEO, I have a friend who does. So if you have a question on lighting, on design, on photography, on any of this stuff, if it's not covered on Williams Podcast, shoot me a message. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. My phone number is on my website. Don't call me a weirdo. Text me. But text me your question. However you want to get in touch with me, I don't care. Uh, I have ways to block you and ignore you. I'm fearless. Go ahead, man. Blow up my phone. I don't care. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I'll find someone who does.